Hello dreamers! In this video series, we're going to learn how to buy a house. I'm Tannen and this is what I do. So you've decided that you want to buy a house, your first house, or you haven't bought a house in a number of years and you'd like a refresher course. Well, you've come to the right place. I have 22 years experience as a real estate agent, 21 of those years as a real estate broker in the great and terrible state of California. We are going to talk about defining what it is that you want. And this is important because the more you can define what it is you want, the quicker you're going to be able to find it. I know that you have a lot of ideas in your head about uh, what it is that you want in your first house or your next house. But the challenge is, is describing that for your realtor. So I'm going to give you some tools. The cool thing is, is that we can now go shopping for homes on our phones. We can roam around rooms and in neighborhoods in virtual reality and really save ourselves a lot of time and traveling. Of course, we can also find ourselves in rabbit holes and wandering through homes that we really don't want. So when using your phone app, keep this really good advice in mind. You're not going to buy any of the homes that you see on your phone or on your computer. We're just using those to get a really good idea about what it is that we want. Home finding sites are a great resource, but sadly, a lot of the homes on those sites aren't really for sale. Even if you're on a site that has current listings, that's not what we're doing right now. Slow down, Nelly. We're doing home window shopping, which means we're picking out bedrooms and garages and school districts and any one of a dozen other things that you find important. So let me give you some tips on home finding that should save you hours and hours. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a file on our computer called My New Home. And into that file, we're gonna download the file that's in the description of this video called Wishlist. Now, once you open up Wishlist, you're going to see that it's really just a, a compilation of questions that I've developed for you. And you can answer all of them or none of them or some of them, but keep in mind that this file is gonna go to your realtor in the next video. So like, what are some of the questions? What do I want my home to be close to? List the places you go every week. Church, school, work, preschool, Chinese food. My daughter travels a lot, so she put down airport and hamburger joint. But if you work at home and you have everything delivered, maybe you don't even answer this question. Or you answer it by saying, I want to live on a mountain lake where things can be airdropped to me and I can grow a beard and make my own butter. It's so easy to rent, you know, because it's just a year. Most first time home buyers, most home buyers live in their home for five to seven years. Let's have fun with this. When I was young, alas, the original MacGyver, uh, Richard Dean Anderson, whom I still intend to marry, lived on a houseboat and I thought that was super cool. So I went out and got myself a houseboat and it was super cool, uh, especially in the Pacific Northwest. It was so cool in the winter, it was actually frozen. But I digress. Now it's your turn to be super cool. The wish list co covers major components of real estate uh, so that it should work for most properties and most buyers. You'll see that we cover things like location, which is kind of a biggie in real estate. We also cover attributes, which are things like bedrooms and garages. And we're also gonna cover amenities, which are things like pools and jacuzzi jetted tubs. I ask you to consider whether you have the budget and the temperament to try a fixer upper, or the stamina to own acreage, or the patience to own a condo. Will you have children in school? Will you want to party downtown? Or are you ready to settle into country living? There are no wrong answers. Your life is a canvas. Paint with abandon. It's only five years, so think of this purchase as an adventure in lifestyle. Next, we're gonna start collecting photographs and we're gonna put them in the file with our wish list. So when we're on those home finding sites, we're gonna run into the perfect yard or the dreamiest nursery. 
Go ahead, click, swipe, and save that into the file. Let it sit in the file for a few days and then review it. Delete the ones that don't seem right and keep all the ones that truly define who you are and who you want to be. I put all of my pics into a file that becomes a screensaver on my computer, so I see it at the most unusual times. You might be surprised at the pattern that starts to emerge after a while. Did you know that you liked historic homes? Or perhaps you're collecting photographs of modern architecture and bare essentials living. Most people are pretty shocked to see what they're naturally attracted to. Maybe not shocked, perhaps pleasantly surprised. So you can see now why we really don't care if most of the homes on the internet aren't really for sale. That's not what we're using it for. We'll need some great apps in the fourth and fifth videos in this series, but for now, whatever you do, don't make an appointment to see a home now. I want you to enjoy this process. And if you start too early, you're gonna run out of fun. Don't do it. Put the phone down. No wait, don't put it down quite yet. In a lot of those apps, you'll find mortgage calculators and home price estimators that are very handy. Go ahead and put your numbers in and figure out what it is that you're looking for. Maybe you think you'll be able to afford a four bedroom house instead of a two bedroom house. These things are good to know now. Trust me, we've got a lot of technology and we're gonna be able to crunch those numbers a lot better and we'll be doing those later in the series. You might even consider getting pre-qualified now. Getting pre-qualified online helps you figure out uh, your home prices so that you can start actually collecting addresses to put into your My New Home file as well. Whatever happens, do not let anything that you encounter on the internet discourage you from becoming a home buyer. Okay, now you can put the phone down. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to choose a realtor. And in the video after that, we're gonna get a lender and we're gonna pick out a loan. And then by the fourth video, we're gonna be able to pile into the car and drive straight to your dream house. No, I'm not kidding. We can actually do that now. We have the technology. We have so much technology that we can eliminate all the bad choices before we ever get into a car and drive over and smell them. I mean, see, I mean see them. Home searching needs to be kept fun. And that means short and sweet. Just like this video should be. You, you have a lot of dreaming and scheming to do this week. Have fun with it. And I'll see you next time.